welcome to my presentation on proteins. So what are the basic units that make up a protein? A, prote a protein is basically made up of repeating units known as amino acids. Amino acids are joined together in condensation reactions, resulting in the formation of a peptide bond between each of the amino acids. Here, the diagram will show you the structure of the protein. So the NH2 group is known as the amino group. The COOH group is known as the carboxyl group. The H group is the hydrogen group, and the R is not group is known as the variable group. And this is common to all proteins. Proteins have four different types of structure, primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary structures. The primary structure of a protein refers to the order of amino acids found in the polypeptide chain, joined by peptide bonds as a result of condensation reactions. The secondary stru structure of a protein refers to the shape that the polypeptide will take as a result of hydrogen bonding, which can either form an alpha helix or beta pleated sheet. The tertiary structure of a protein occurs due to the hydrogen bonding, ionic bonding and disulfide bridges, making the protein become more compact and a 3D structure, therefore making it more specific to its substrate or whatever its function is. The quaternary structure only will arise when more than one polypeptide chain is used and combined together to form a more complex molecule known as a bigger protein, so a complex protein. Examples of where the quaternary structure may be used is in hemoglobin. In order to test for proteins, we must conduct a test known as the Burette test. The Burette test basically detects peptide bonds. When carrying out, we must add equal volumes of the test sample to sodium hydroxide in a test tube at room temperature. We then add a couple of drops of copper sulfate solution and we mix that gently in. If there is a colour change from blue to purple, then peptide bonds are present. But if the solution remains blue, then no peptide bonds are present. There are two main types of proteins, globular and fibrous proteins. Globu globular proteins are water-soluble proteins. They're highly specific to their function and thus have a unique structure, for example, enzymes. Examples of globular proteins include those that are involved in metabolic functions and haemoglobin. Fibrous proteins, on the other hand, are water insoluble and often provide structural support, for example, collagen in bones. Thank you for watching my presentation. If you found this useful, please subscribe.